Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in expat.cz. And this is another European nation. And they are admitting something. Czechs are dying out, says Prime Minister Andrzej, I think that's Babis. The population of a good nation is rising and this growth is not replaced by immigration. And you know what? It's not going to be. Immigration is really not the answer to low birth rates. It really isn't. Um, especially if the quality of people that are coming in as immigrants are coming in more on the low end of type of jobs in that nation, then that's not the answer. It's not the answer economically either. So he also expressed, and this is the prime minister, support for families with at least three children. The figures are clear. Checks are dying out. Babis said, though the life expectancy has been rising dramatically, the long-term prospects of the Czech population development are not optimistic. Uh, he said, the state can be identified by its inhabitants living without fear for the future and the number of its inhabitants rising Um without population growth being replaced by migration from abroad, Baba said. He called the demographic changes a time bomb that would fully explode in several decades. The Czech Republic and the other this grade four countries, Hungary, Slovakia, and Poland, have a unique opportunity to show that Central Europe is the region where people are living well, a safe space with the best conditions for families with children, Baba said. The birth rate in the Czech Republic is 1.7, which is well below the replacement rate of 2.1 children per woman which is the highest figure of all V4 uh, countries, but it is still does not reach the simple reproduction level. That is 2.1 children per woman. Yeah, he's right about that. He's absolutely right. According to Babis, the families could afford one or two children without various state incentives as well as people do not have children to get some form of support. Every support for the family is right, but the state has now a much harder nut to crack. How to help families that would like to have three or more children, which means very high spending from the family's budget, Babas pointed out the Czech Republic lacks a sufficient offer of flexible forms of work, such as part-time jobs, he added. The issue of demographic changes is not as popular as the climate issue, but the consequences of low birth rate and population aging may be serious in the same way, Babas said. The two-day demography conference, which ends Friday, is held by the Hungarian government and attended by politicians and church representatives. So um, they're doing what a lot of other countries are doing. Uh, Hungarian uh, Prime Minister Viktor Urban said in his speech at the conference that the statement saying migration can solve the population decline on a global scale must be rejected. Yeah, because see, those people that are migrating to their countries are not like them. That's why. 
And it's why when I did a story back on Italy's low birth rate, they said they wanted more Italian babies. <laughs> they didn't want more babies from the immigrants. So there is a difference. They want babies of themselves, not from migrants or people that have relocated to live there. So they're really specific in what they want. Urban, who has long criticized excessive migration and refugees inflow to Europe, announced a series of tax and other financial benefits in support of families this year. This spring, the Hungarian parliament passed a bill that would secure, among others, an uh, interest-free loan of an equivalent of 785,000 crowns to married couples on the condition the woman um, has to be, she got to be under 40 in order to get that. So, ladies and gentlemen, another nation over in Europe, but they're admitting they're dying out. That's something that you don't see a lot when they talk about these types of articles. Um, you know, as far as low birth rate is concerned, many of them will tell you how low the birth rate is, but they don't admit that they're dying out. So the Czech Republic is definitely by far one of the first to admit it. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they're suffering in the same way many of the European nations, Western nations, and really worldwide. Um, it, it's really hitting the European and Asian nations harder than anyone else. Um, just tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.